All right, guys, how's it going? I probably should have anticipated this, but one of the questions I got asked was, how do I manually assign a weight map to a bone? So let's say, for example, you want to animate an eyeball. So we'll add in a sphere, and we'll go to add, and we'll add in an armature to control. So I'll press Z, I'll go into wireframe mode, and I'll press tab to go into edit mode. And I'm just going to move the tail of the bone. Something like this. Jump back into object mode, set that into solid. So when I move this bone in pose mode, nothing will happen. And it's essentially because it's not got a weight map and because it's not parented to the object. So first of all, let's manually parent the object. So we'll select the sphere and we'll select the bone. Now, if you hit control P, with automatic weights we'll do it. But we'll set this up manually, so we'll do armature deform. Now again, if I move the bone in pose mode, nothing will actually happen. And the reason for this is, we have no vertex data assigned to the object. So if you come to this green object data, which is your vertex, we can create a new vertex group. Now one thing you need to keep in mind is, the names need to be related to each other. So for example, I'm going to rename the bone to eyeball. And I'm going to rename the vertex map to eyeball. Now one last time, if I move the bone in pose mode, nothing will happen. And the reason for this is, the object has no weight assigned. So if I jump into weight paint, you'll see that the value is set at zero. Now what we could do is, we could put the radius of the brush up, put the strength up, and we can make it a weight of one. Pretty much something like that. Probably not the most efficient way, but it's a good example. This time when I jump into object mode, select the bone, go into pose mode, you'll now see the eyeball rotating. Now the reason for this is because we've now essentially assigned a vertex map which is in relation to our bone. So these names always need to co-inhabit each other. So for example if I change it to ball 001, and I do pose mode and I move the bone, nothing will happen. So keep that in mind, and that's essentially how you manually assign a weight map to a bone. Pretty easy stuff, and you'll get a free eyeball. Do me a favour guys, it's that time again. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know what to do. Peace.